This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. In breaking news, leading scientists worldwide are conducting experiments to determine if Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. However, it appears the study was inconclusive, as the scientists couldn't help but eat all the Reese's. Because when you want something sweet, you can't do better than Reese's. Find Reese's now at a store near you. That's okay. Sorry, I just I, I didn't get them all the way shut there. That's okay. Um, could you actually close them? Because I definitely can't reach them to get them closed. They're wide open. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish we could fix this somehow because it's like 3 a.m. I have to be up early to work. I also do. I go to work. Sure. Sure. I, 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 I do feel like I don't want to make a competition. I get up a little earlier. I, I'll, I'll close them. I'll close them. Thanks. Would you be cool if... I could bring in like tongs from the kitchen or one of the kids' toys, even just like as an extender, so you could reach the top. Ah, uh, wow! Hey, knock knock, mom. Dad? Hi, hi, hi. It's three a.m. Um, you guys are making a lot of noise. I got a big day tomorrow. Oh. Uh, I got tests. Right. And even if I didn't have tests, it's really disrespectful that you're having. Just a full-blown conversation at three in the morning. Right. What are you guys talking about? I don't even care. Brandon, it's your dad wanted to fill my hands with tongs to close the blinds. And fill your uh, hands? I mean... Well, you essentially said you wanted to go get any kitchen tool and just... Yeah. I, so there's just like a... I, in our household, since, and I'm so glad you're being so forward and, and open with us yeah, about your feelings Yeah, thank you for being and forward everything. and open. Yeah, thanks for the preamble. Get to the point. What's <laughs> going on? Well, it's just... Um, you know, I do feel like there's not a lot of, we don't share responsibility in this house. And a lot of it comes on to me because I'm a little taller and there's just certain things that like I always have to do, uh, like close the blinds here. Or even like if there's like a leak in the shower or a scary sound, I feel a lot of pressure to take care of it. Well, I'm somebody who does all sorts of other things. I do all the low things. I polish the floors. I pick up the crumbs. I lift up the carpet and get the things out from under the carpet. I fluff the pillows. Okay, okay. I also I... do the... I know you have a lot of spelling tests, but I just also... It's... I arrange the logs in the fireplace. It's I not... also clean out the kitchen. Okay. If we're I just... clean out the laundry. I clean out the living room. Are we just listing? All of the we're gum. just listing things. We're listing responsibilities. You know what soups? my responsibility is? What? Take care of you when you tour at death's door and make sure that your slow descent into heaven or hell is handled with dignity. Are you is serious? handled with dignity. I am making sure that I have top grades to get into the best academic institutions in order to get a great job. Knock, knock. Oh. Please. Please. Sorry, I'm letting myself in. It's oh your neighbor. God. What's Hi, going Shawnee. on over here? Hi, it's 3 a.m. The light from your bedroom is blinding me as I'm trying to go to sleep. You heard us screaming. We've been screaming. You've been screaming. The whole neighborhood is up in arms. You see what I deal with? Do you see I what do. I deal with? You're doing a great job. Thank You're you, 14. Sean. Don't commiserate with this 50-year-old. You don't Listen. deal with the same things at all. Uh, yeah, we My deal s- with your BS. It's not. Do you know what that stands for? Swears. Do you know what that stands yes, for? Yes, I know what it stands for. It stands for bullshit. Because this is bullshit. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of spelling to do tomorrow. And I cannot put up with this. It See, needs to end. I want to have your job someday. I am an excellent speller. I, I think would, you could. I, that's interesting. You consider your job spelling. I consider it putting the letters up at the Rick's drive-in. I should never uh-huh. should have enrolled uh, you they... in a spelling immersion school. <laughs> More disrespect. I'm so sorry, Shoney. They 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 woke up on both on the wrong side of the bed. I think we're all tired. I'm sorry if you took disrespect. I just wouldn't consider your job spelling. I imagine the words were pre-spelled. I didn't know they left that. Well, to when you. I don't spell, it's just random letters, and we've gotten lots of calls and complaints about that. 
I, I, I'm sorry. Yes. It's uh, okay. The town is kind of up in arms. They're not just random letters. They're offensive letters. May I time. suggest some sort of long pokey stick, like a spear or a... Shawnee, look at these hands. Do they look like grabbing hands? No, they really or don't. Or hands that can hold a tong? No, you shouldn't or... have to close the curtains at all, I don't think. Thank you. I don't think so at all. It... There, the amount of tools that my husband has insisted I close the curtains I... with is obscene. I will close these... It feels like a compromise, but I'm not happy with it. I do feel like the perfect guy just came into our house. His job is literally, you have the things to close things and open from far away. Could we borrow one of your magnetic? Oh, borrow? So you want him to do free labor for you? Oh my Every God. single time you need something, you're going to call up Shawnee? Do you know how many people want to borrow my suction cup? A lot of people want to borrow my suction cup on a stick. Okay. Shiny. I apologize. That's just a plunger, right? Yeah. See, sort all you of. had, all you had to do, all you had to do, threaten this guy with a, a, a regular payment for services, and see what happened. Oh, he backed down immediately. Immediately. <laughs> this is why I try to get best grades. So I'm <sighs> counting on scholarships because if I turn to this guy, I say, "Hey, I got an eighty percent scholarship." Ever since you transferred into this spelling immersion, you've <laughs> really become a, a, a someone who's quite full of himself. Now, I want you to be com- confident. I want you to feel loved by me. But this, this is too much. He's an adult. I was on your side for a hot second. This is a family dynamic that is already deeply inside me as trauma. It's in my veins. It's in my blood. It's in my bones. When I get osteoporosis in my 70s, I'm going to tell the doctor. You you know what it's from? It's from it's from from not being able to side with um, my mother or my father. Guys, guys, we're getting we're getting in the weeds here. It's 3:12 in the morning. I would love to put my nightcap on and go back to bed. Why don't I just close the curtain and I'll get out of here, and then the problem is solved. I'm standing already. I'll just do it. I think it'll stop the screaming. It'll solve today's problem. Yeah, it'll solve today's problem. But what about tomorrow? What about the day after that? And and when he starts demanding payment for services, what are you going to do, Dad? I don't know where you got this idea in your head that I will never remit payment for services. It, it, it's, it, it has happened in front of us right now, but you are so worried about the future. It's, it's the garbage. picture in the hallway. The framed picture in the hallway. It's That says, I will not remit payment for services. <laughs> and the garbage man is pissed at you guys. He won't come pick up your can anymore. There's it, just trash all in front of the house. It's a family rule. <laughs> Uh, we won't repeat. Uh, all right. I do know where you got it in your head, I guess, now that we say it out loud. <laughs> yeah, the overt choice, the picture. <laughs> Look, I, I do. Th- I, uh, Shawnee, you got to go. All right. You are siding with my son. You're siding with my wife. Okay. I, uh, we're both in here in very, I would say, almost erotic outfits. All three uh, of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're an independent family. <laughs> See <That's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they were wearing. What was what were their erotic? Outfits? No, I was yeah. just like, huh? How what do I describe? <laughs> I meant revealing, and I said erotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks, it's the Man Dog Pod. Welcome back. I'm Dan. That's my co-host Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Dan. If you're watching the video of Ryan and Mary, I apologize. The first 20 seconds was not there. And then I remembered to hit record. So, <laughs> so the okay. first 20 seconds are just us? Uh, it'll just be video of us, probably with a, maybe a screen grab or whatever Trenton, our editor, decides to put in there. Oh, it's interesting because it was you and Mary talking at the beginning. So it's just going to be you talking and me like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Com- that. Yeah, comfortable. It's be- comfortable. And it will be a great reveal when we finally do appear. The that will be nice. Is. Yeah, yes. maybe we'll um, go in and re-edit some sort of fun thing to reveal. But it'll just be what you're seeing now, basically. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Or it'll be cartoon Mary and Ryan. And then it'll cut to the real thing. <laughs> and we'll be really disappointed. Where'd the cool animation go? <laughs> uh, those, you, the people that you are hearing are our wonderful guest, Mary Gill. Hi, Mary. Grill. Grill. <laughs> I checked in before. I said grill. He did. It's it's Came totally good. Hair. Yeah, Mary Grill. Mary Grill. Thank you for having me. Glad um, to be here. Great. Um, and of course, Tim Batts. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. That was still surprised. Me. Feels yeah. fair. Feels fair. Very yeah. fair. I've, I've had, had worse balls. <laughs> I've had worse. Yeah, I haven't had was that, that since wor- like sixteen. Even the bullies <laughs> growing the up were like, there? it's too easy. No. Yeah, a dead serious. Really? Oh yeah. I remember the last time someone said it. I I like he was like, hey. He was like, hey, balls. And I was like, hey, dick. And he was like, mm, yeah, that was 
Yeah, people yeah. would call me barbecue a lot. I was like, that's so dumb. I don't yeah. like barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, barbecue, what do you what do you barbecue? And I was like, blow me. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch, you really got me. I'm a barbecue. <laughs> Where'd they get barbecue off Good of gills? Ones. <laughs> what? Where'd they get barbecue off of gills? Because you oh, barbecue God fish. Oh, goddamn. My name is Grill. <laughs> barbecue fish and fish had gills. What the hell? It's one thing removed. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I love barbecued fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do get confused about grill and barbecue. You know what I mean? Because you'd say there's a difference. Barbecue to me implies sauce and flavor. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah, grill you're right. Yeah. Method hot, of cooking. Hot strips. Yeah. 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 Hot strips. Yeah. yeah. Thrown hot on lines. there with the hot lines hot on lines. there, bur- 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 Burger King style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd like that fish Burger King style. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So you grill fish. You barbecue pork beef you mm-hmm. saw things that are sauce you wouldn't put barbecue sauce on a fish i don't not, i don't think i've had a barbecued fish and that's why bullies couldn't do that I stuff because it's just too hard you could. logically you definitely you could. Could. i mean we're from the yeah midwest. but you don't want to sauce it i've definitely had barbecued fish in the midwest there yeah are, that's like a lot of yeah. bad ideas yeah there's a whole bunch of bad ideas <laughs> so you wise like, like barbecue you ever have check chicken tetrazzini that was like what we had every time before my parents went out i feel like it didn't it was a recipe that didn't like cross Outside of the Chicago land area, yeah, did yeah. you guys have this food? Mm-mm. No, I've never it's heard sick. of it. Sick. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. It's like egg noodles, I think, uh-huh. and cream of mushroom soup dumped in the noodles mm-hmm. with like, uh, in our case, it was always old chicken, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> yeah. like leftover. Yeah. yeah, you shred it and you put it in there, and you put breadcrumbs and butter on top, mm-hmm. and salt and pepper, and then you you bake it. It's really like, like it could be a soup and even some might say a wholesome good soup and instead it's like let's make it into a bad casserole <laughs> yeah yeah let's put That's it in a, a lot of midwestern bake it down culinary thinking is just yes. like let's make it worse yeah in this way where we can just like casserole it up put it in like a huge pyrex pan yeah and then have like enough to tell the kids to like just eat it like, yeah you'll be full yeah and, and give it a name that sounds Italian, but it's just, Chicken, it's it's like that Zini. sounds like a very American dish to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely just generic Italian. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's always funny to hear people from the Midwest sort of making fun of like Midwest food culture or whatever. Uh-huh. But then I'm always like, why does that information never get back to the Midwest? Why don't they just start eating vegetables? Because they like it. <laughs> they just like it. Yeah, they yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're in. When you go home and do you say like our food is weird or do, or are you just kind of quiet about it? You know what I mean? I'm quiet. I I don't yeah. want to hurt my parents' feelings, but we do get way over meated when we yeah. go home. I we we're just like my parents will be like, There's fruit and it's like there's just like the 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 dark the the darkest red apple that looks like it's so dark it's navy. <laughs> and it's like in the fruit bowl with like the oldest orange and we're like Oh my god. And and they have so they have just a mountain of condiments. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, so and it, it's like it's exclusively Cold cuts and cheese for sandwiches, and then like you know, d- double meats at breakfast, bacon and sausage mm-hmm. often, and then it's like some sort of roast or ground something <laughs> right. for dinner. It's just like right. tons of tons of meats. It definitely a lot of animals. It uh, you know, I don't think I'm saying anything like shocking here, but it it really changes your bowel movement. <laughs> oh, it stops your routine. Right yeah. You yeah, just like go like home just... to not go. Yeah. You just go home to not go. God, that diarrhea. My family still has Midwest? full cups of full cups of milk. <laughs> get they just have. They, have they still drink full cups of milk. Oh yeah, did you do like mm. cups of milk with dinner? For sure. Oh yeah, that water not allowed. Water considered fancy. Really? Yeah. That's really yeah. funny. Like fancy. it was like you stop that. You're not. You're a child. <laughs> Water at the table. Oh, why don't you bring a top hat, little boy? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. You've I, got some French influence, so I feel like you maybe had some more oh, man, my, roundedness than I did. Yeah. I grew up in Joliet, Illinois. Not a, didn't wasn't exactly like restaurant culture when I was growing up for sure. I, I would say my mom's like our kitchen, my mom's from the north of France. Our kitchen was probably the best restaurant in my hometown for <laughs> decades. That's yeah. great. And I bet. My friends would come over at strategic times, especially once I was in college um, and back for the summers. They'd come and they'd just like kind of loiter around like <laughs> 6, 6.30 p.m. We ate a little later and they would loiter until someone would be like, um, Dan, do you want to 
stay over for dinner? And they're like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. He's and then got just, a zip on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cassoulet looks great. <laughs> but it was it was nice, and I think yeah. it, it spoiled me in the sense that once I was in my 20s and living in Chicago, didn't have a lot of money, you know, I'm eating pot bellies like five times <laughs> a week for lunch <laughs> <laughs> and starting to think like, oh, uh, I have some habits that technically put me ahead of the curve. Uh huh. You know, like uh-huh. I'm not afraid of vegetables. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. My price point might be I'm straining a can of beets and I'm putting a nice vinaigrette in the can of beets and I'm eating it like that because, mm-hmm. you know, I have mm-hmm. no money. But it, like that. You had the wherewithal. Yeah. I mean, I, we did too. My parents weren't like a couple of jerks who never showed us a salad you know but but you know it's they had some yeah the culture is baked yeah. in there you know yeah. like california culture is like fresh avocado yeah. you yeah. know whatever in its when own my stereotype. dad always gets stomach aches when he comes out here and he always goes it's a small plate it's, it's the small plates and i'm like it's not <laughs> what does he mean that's right. <laughs> we, will, we will never know. Like uh, because there's less food, his stomach hurts. I think it's like too wild. I don't too know. Too much variety. You know, too much variety, maybe. Yeah. 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 It's a small place. Too, you need one one big creamy thing. Uh, yeah, but yeah. He needs just like yeah, more American cheese. Well, <laughs> even if your small intestine has bad bacteria in uh-huh. it, it's that bacteria talks to itself and it expects certain things, mm-hmm. right? So it can manage the pain that it's inflicting on you. And if you throw in extra stuff, it's like, are you kidding? We're going to make you hurt even more. <laughs> yes. Oh, inter- yes. le- interesting. Uh, that's just my hypothesis. You I'm doctor? Not, I mean, I'm, well, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely like a budding Andrew Huberman type of guy. <laughs> I have oh, yeah. literally everybody on that calls themselves an expert. <laughs> yeah, he's like, almost a doctor, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if he's not, I don't know what want to know what a doctor is. <laughs> if you've nodded to enough people explaining things, then you become a do- mm-hmm. an expert in mm-hmm. what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do notice what you're saying of like, um, I'll go sort of on a run of eating pretty unhealthy for a while uh-huh. and then be like, okay, it's I got to change this. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll never leave it. Yeah. But, but yeah. sometimes a little too much. And then I'll be like, okay, this week I'm eating healthy. And I'll be like just eating way more vegetables than normal, way more like healthy stuff. And I feel horrible. Like yeah. my stomach is oh, like, really? whoa, too fast, man. Like, <laughs> give us some time to adjust, you know. And, and it makes me go like, all right, well, then I'm not eating healthy. It's obviously bad for I me. Tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. yeah. But really, it's just like your what your stomach is used to getting whiplash. Yes. Going back and forth. Right. Interesting. I'm, yeah, it's frustrating to feel like I'm not on the same team with my own stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, we're getting we're fixing things here. You gotta yeah. get on board. Right. Yeah, I yeah. can't feel sick being healthy. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh well guys, it's uh it's eight. I think my mom's probably about to start cooking dinner. So um uh yeah. Hi guys, Ooh. it's eight. I'm uh, about to start cooking dinner. <laughs> hey Miss <laughs> Langford. All right. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. How you been, John? Good, good. Just, you know, pretty much hanging out. Oh, my gosh. You keep getting taller. Every time I see you, you're tall, tall, tall. Well, I'm, I'm 16. <laughs> oh, God. And your shoes. Do you just have to get new shoes every three months? <laughs> um, Maybe six in months, the pants, eight in months. In the pants and the shirts? <laughs> yeah, is definitely. Is that all changing, too? <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Do you fit in your bed? <laughs> um, yeah, the bed. We'll go through the doors. Mom, he's really self conscious about the what, growth. What is spurt. it with you? I'm just trying to befriend your friends. I know, I know, but he's just, just pretty self conscious about it. Oh and I think gosh. he's just, yeah, I think he's like. Stefan, calm down. Okay, all right. All right. John, you, you, sorry about that. You don't like to see arguments. You've come from a divorced home. Jeez Louise. <laughs> he's really self conscious <laughs> about that. <laughs> well, Stefan, I'm just trying to be straightforward with okay. your friends. No. This is how I get to know people. No, it's just, you know, I, I, I don't know. I kind of blame myself for it a lot. and oh, Oh, John, no. We don't really have money for me to go into therapy right now about it. Um, yeah. It was, really, it was really pretty ugly divorce. Oh, pretty I'm nasty. so, so sorry, honey. Had, I witnessed a lot of verbal abuse. That's... You said it was almost dinner time? Yeah, yeah, it's eight and we're maybe about to eat. So oh. yeah, yeah eight o'clock, it's about dinner time. Hi, sweetie. Okay, hey, hey, yeah. So uh, thanks for having us over all day. I'm sorry oh. we've just been sitting in the living you're room. You're welcome and look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at you. Gosh, growing you're boy, just yeah. growing like a weed. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you playing soccer and football and swimming? I'm playing all of them. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're, I was saying to Johnny, he's so tall and his clothes and his 
And his bike must be too small. Good to see you. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Oh, thanks yeah, so we much. were just on our way out, but we would, uh, if you want us to stay, then we sure, could definitely. Sure, I just made homemade brie and some uh, cake that I sliced up. It's right here. Whoa. Help yourself. Ooh, All right, what yeah. an indulgent I... little treat. Yeah, it sounds I... great. Well, if you guys want to keep hanging, you've been here since 10 a.m. I don't know if your parents want to. Be welcoming. I, well, I've been welcoming. They've been here for 10 hours. I, I, you know, I feel like. That's fine. They were in the basement for at least an hour and a half of that. I didn't even see them. I hardly got to talk to your friends. Well, this cake and homemade brie smells so good. You, you mind if we start oh, eating it John, right now? Oh, John, sure. <laughs> and Bri, get in there. Okay, That's great. no problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stephen, what right. happened with the with the play? Did you mm. get any in a part in, the, in mm. the show? I got a part, but it's just it's mm. like the stepfather role. So it's like three lines. So it's like they. Watery. I think they just had to mm. give everyone a part. Well, am I going to get to see you say anything? It's three lines, yeah. It's not as much as I wanted, but it's three lines. Do you have a solo? No, I don't have a solo. Three lines implies no solo. I, 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 look, I, And they're I, dancing. Is there dancing? I'm in the chorus, so I'll dance with other people. I don't yeah. have my own number. What's the play? Uh, what's the play? Yeah. Uh, it's Into the Woods. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. What cool. is that about? It's like a camping? Oh, that's so cute. It's a bunch of witches, and then I think they go in the woods. Oh well, mom. It's you know I I rehearsed a lot of the audition with you. Uh, uh, um, I, I, there was a witch character, but there's it's like so a I, retelling I, of a lot of fairy tales, uh, like a mashup. It's kind of the in a way it is. It's yeah. kind of Shrek before Shrek in, yeah, in a it's little a bit, bit of witches, which is in the woods. Marvel, <laughs> Marvel before Marvel. Yeah. Oh, sure. look yeah. at this! The turkey's coming out. Do you guys like turkey? Oh. Oh, and if you don't like turkey, it's just fine because I cooked three bass. They're coming out as well. And just a minute, I, oh you know, God. I never knew you guys. And this is not even interesting to you because you're just a couple of teenage growing boys. But I, when I put it, when I redid the kitchen, I thought, is two ovens too much? And then the answer is, heck no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. no way. Oh, gosh, excuse me, the pie's done. I'll be right back. I got to oh go in the God. other kitchen. Be right back. Oh, I'm so sorry about her. Oh, dude, man. what are you I, apologizing for? This is amazing. Look at this spread. I mean, it's like two Thanksgivings happening, and we're in the like the middle of April. Are you allergic to nuts? Oh, uh, no, Miss Langford. No, I love right. them. Look, I know it's your like one night a month with your dad, so if you want to go home, you can. You are you don't kidding? Have to He's like in an have... awful mood. He's such a prick. The divorce is his fault. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. It's oh, all right. Sorry. Sorry. It's just like I'm pro. This is hot. I'm really on my mom's team right Good now. Good for you. Thanks, Good man. Good for you, man. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I uh, this is that pie hot? Oh, it's very Here, hot. Bri, Bri, let's take the let's take the pie out of Miss Langford's hands. We'll yeah, set it down. Go, we'll set it down. No, it was too hot for her. It's okay. We can look. This will grow. This no, no, no. This will grow. This will go away. We're growing boys. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Growth, your hands. It won't stunt their growth, mom. Stephen. I know where a growth growth plate is. I've seen a growth plate. Show me your thumb. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. my God. We're okay. We're okay. I, you know, I didn't want fingerprints anyway. Oh I wanted to be able to sort of God. run around town and commit crimes. Yeah, we John. just watched the movie Seven. We thought that was the cleverest part of his whole thing when okay. he cut off his fingerprints. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you make me feel better. <laughs> Here, let me get better. you some ice and some water just to put on your fingers. I, you know, I, I feel I'll like get I'm... it. Please. I'll be right back. All right. I feel like I'm overstaying. I should probably get out of here anyway you know I'll, I'll, don't go. I, no i i don't want to be you know too much and i've already eaten most of the brie and the cake and uh, Bri, i have here's two. some ice oh jeez oh <laughs> thank you is, that's yeah. that's much above ice, and beyond miss langford it's thank really you nice. that's really too much nice. ice. It, it's a whole it's like a block for like a a a, a, a bartender to chop in like a fancy restaurant well it's, i thought we would have shaved ice after the that's turkey funny. fish and pie shaving hey, ice brian yeah, i like can Hawaii. shave it it's no big deal look yeah. here we got a pick right here here let's let's start here okay. you take a pick i'll take like i don't hey, know because it kind of bothered me when you watch seven and immediately got like an ice pick and got excited about getting your fingers burned off like <laughs> okay. it's no, a no, clever no. movie it's <laughs> really yeah. clever seven deadly sins affect all of us they threaten all of our well-being our lives you know I mean, there's no harm in looking at culture through the eyes of the seven deadly sins and pointing out gluttony, sloth, greed. And all just these because things. you're a psychopath doesn't really... mean that you're not smart. Like, yeah. Let's give him his credit for being smart and then and then also be like, don't be a psychopath. OK. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Can you please do your lines for us? <sighs> just it's so embarrassing them. to do them in front of oh my, my friend. I didn't even tell them I was. A, uh, OK. Just start at the, the beginning. The closer the family, the closer the wine. One. 
That's one good. Jo- that was really that was a good read. That I was didn't great. know you had those chops. To be honest, yeah, okay. honestly, and you, you cho- right? oh, speaking of chops, you know yeah. what would be really interesting? No request. Oh, the pork chops! I'll, the be pork right chops. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. That's it's, inspired, Bri. Yeah. It's just me and her. Why did she make such a huge meal? I, 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 I look. I think she's. I think she needs like adult friends, and I, I enjoy what you guys are doing here, and it's making her happy. But I think it's making her like feel a little too close to you. Egg allergies? Ah, uh, no, Miss Langford. No, no. Wow, pork chops and eggs. What are you complaining about, dude? Oh gosh, I'm back. Sorry. I, you know, I put a crust around the pork chop that had an egg white kind of a whip. It's it's a crusty pork chop, very Ooh. French. Fun. Wow. I love it. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything. thank you, thank you, thank you. This is yeah. delightful. <sighs> okay, let's get that second line. Also, I love the way you threw away the first one. That shows confidence. <laughs> uh, I've lied. It's one line. It's one line. Oh, it's not even dude. three. Give it to I, us again and throw it away even harder. You lied. Pretend you don't even like the line. Yeah, but, uh, Something about wine and the family? What was yeah, it? It wasn't interesting. The closer to the family, the closer to wine. Okay, well, now you're upset. Oh, that I, wasn't throwing it away. I'm upset in real life, and, and it's influencing the way I'm saying the line. Oh, I, I, interesting. That's real Pacino, uh, right? I'm sorry <laughs> we didn't leave a slice Friend of the you. family, what, friend of the wine. What is it? The closer the family, the closer the wine. Oh, it's okay. during One Midnight Gone. It's one of the songs at the end of the first act. The I'm pretty sure so, I read that on a bookmark somewhere. So it's a line in the song. You chose your own audition material, and you picked one line in one song yeah i w- I, I didn't want to like overstep yeah dude you need an audition coach you need to call us this seriously, is what we do right seriously Brian? yeah absolutely are you guys performers no just coaches we oh, just kind of coach growing boys who are coaches yeah Gosh, i couldn't i can't believe how tall and can i say thank how you? much potential you have yes thank you for noticing all my growth Oh man! Oh my man! I could go bummed. on. Your hair, your nails, your beard. Oh my god! It's like every time I see you, you're just a different version of yourself. It's fascinating. You know, I feel so seen. Bry takes a biotin suppository. That's why he pushes hair out and nails so strong. We shouldn't encourage it. It's unhealthy. Why? I have an extra one. I have the suppositories in my backpack. If you guys I've been want to take telling. One. I have been telling Stefan for years. Rectal medicine is just the most. It's the quickest path to success. Mm-hmm. Never heard it referred to rectal that. medicine. That's, I'm going to start saying that. That's right, and and I can't even say the word rectal in front of my son because he's not mature enough. Look at him; he's blushing. I, I, I'm not mature enough. It's the, it's it comes up, it, and uh, this is the first time it has ever been apropos of the conversation. Oh, can it's, we just get used to it now? You've got a rectum. Oh, Take it out. Look at it. Celebrate it. I yeah. think we should all celebrate. Feed it, it with medicine. Yes, it's fine. Yes. Why are you so afraid of rectal medicine, bro? I. I I he don't just... know that I don't know that I've indicated a fear of it. It's just that my mom is constantly saying things like we'll be walking around when we ran into when we ran into Rebecca, who I oh uh, god Rebecca Miller yes wow whoa coolest she I look I'm not trying to objectify her. Some people would say she's objectively the most beautiful girl in our class. She's so beautiful, but she's her so face cool and her breasts. And she's her so hips cool. And you said it, yes. not me. Yeah, very definitely. thin, whoa. wonderful legs, wow. just wow. like a mouth and. Yes, and Miss Langford. Her figure is is absolutely bomb. (laughs) Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, price line. <laughs> her bottom and her jeans. <laughs> yeah, the way her bottom is in her jeans. It's in her jeans. What were you yeah. Stop say commiserating about... with my mom about how hot Rebecca Miller is. I, I can't think you're hungry. You're just hungry. Yeah, I haven't gotten to just eat any of this. You guys are ravenous. Well, you're... let me light the candles. Wow. And here we are. Ooh, this got really beautiful here in here. Are. Yeah. Here, let me. Oh, is this we a are. light dimmer? All right, I'm gonna dim the lights oh, on the switch the there. Switch there. I don't know what album are. is here, but I'll just start hitting play. I oh guess. my god, it's Portishead live album. This is. <laughs> I've got a fucking boner. <laughs> John. I can't help it. Portishead live. This is so sexy. This yeah, this night is going just that down weird one bell, road. That bell in the background. <laughs> It really is. God, oh, what this is the? Can you Why think of a sexier like album? A, like 
four-way date with my mom and my two friends What here. happened is... with Rebecca Miller? Well, I got embarrassed when in front of her you described her beautiful body. Well, her and... bottom and her jeans and her <laughs> face and her boobies and... It's all there. It's all there. I, 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 I don't want to talk about it, all right? The, your openness with everything closes me off. It makes mm. me take up less space. You know what this guy needs? <sighs> Something for anxiety up in his, his rectum. His erectile, yes. erectile. Get out of my pants. Dude, Get just get out of the... What about some mashed potatoes up there? Yeah. That's not a. What do you mean? It's hey, disgusting. I'm going to hide this CBD gem in some mashed potatoes, and then we're going to shove it up his butt. That, the hiding Thank will you for work. coming over. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> see it. <laughs> the mom is so appreciative. <laughs> she was I obsessed with like... their growth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is such a ring of truth with that. Of like, all my friends' moms are so sweet and nice to all of our friends, and it is like so appreciated but it is also weird it's like yeah, are yeah. you just not talking to anyone all day or what is happening why are we so close yeah <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah yeah it's like oh you don't get any uh of like suddenness at this part of your kids because they're like pushing away in high yes. school and so you're like getting it from our, our your friends i remember yeah, that yeah. like being way nicer to my friends moms than their sons you know because you're trying oh, to be nice when no. you sh- when you yeah. come over yeah. and like be like hey how are you and yeah, then you're, have... de- you're decent yeah totally you're a decent person <laughs> totally <laughs> that's good <laughs> and you're like you end up having to compensate because they'll be like no, we don't want any fucking soda, mom. And it's like, th- thanks for asking. Yeah, I was always like, so weirded out when people were like mean to their parents. And fr- I was like, geez, Louise, yeah. my parents mm-hmm. would kill me. <laughs> like, we all probably share that 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 experience, you know, where you're mm-hmm. around friends like that. Did mm-hmm. you ever have, did you ever, were you ever approached by friends, parents? Like, cause I definitely, I wasn't a troublemaker. I later in, you know, high school, I started to like, maybe I got into some trouble, but I wasn't initiated. You were like was, a nice guy with yeah. the trouble though. I, me too. I was there when trouble happened. Sometimes yeah. I was implicated, but you know, for it wasn't, sure. but I, I wasn't initiating that. For sure. But did you ever have parents kind of come up to you and be like, you know, like, Hey, I know you're going to be there. I know that you're the responsible one. Like, would they ever burden you with, cause I definitely had that no. work. Oh, really. Friends' parents would kind of approach me and be like, I know that you're the responsible one. And they would kind of burden me with more responsibility. I'm like, were they like your really kid? Funny. Your kid's the bad one. <laughs> were they like, make sure everybody's safe? Or they were they asking for intel? Uh, no, not asking. I okay. wasn't. They knew I wasn't a narc. Yeah, yeah. That would be. I wasn't. Tough on you. I'd go silent. And also, I'd like too many deflection mechanisms. They knew I was a good, like, they. The, the, the old eye cross? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we gotta stop talking to him. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this can't be my fault. He's gonna go home like this. <laughs> What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreoncom slash the Man Now Dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done. A huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day. You are the man now, dog you.